In this virtual music lesson plan, we're going to be going over a tutorial for music teachers to learn to use Google Classroom. And we're going to learn in six easy steps. Creating a class, customizing a theme, managing the stream, creating classwork, adding students, and grading. Stay tuned to the end because grading could not be simpler. Where do you see it? Number one, creating a class. When you create a class, you're going to click that plus sign. Over on the left where the hamburger is, you can click on it and then it'll list all your classes that you already have created. Let's click on the plus sign, create class. You have to be part of the G Suite for Education in order to use this, but if you are using Google Classroom, you already are, so don't worry about it. There's four labels you can use when creating a class. The top label is what overlays in text over all of your Google Classroom headers. The second is the section. For me, I find labeling it periods of the day is best for me. Uh, for subject, it's whatever that class is that you're teaching. And then for room, it's just your room number, and it helps keeps everything in order for your students. Number two, customizing a theme. Google will self-populate all of the colors to match whatever theme that you select, and it'll default to whatever theme it thinks you are teaching. But uh, if you click on Upload Photo, you can upload just about anything you want. I'll show you where to do that in just a second. I already created one. I'm going to add it, drag it in. Just make sure that it's resized so it matches the Google header standard. And then that's it. And you'll see it changes to gray because my picture is predominantly gray. You can go to Canva and make one. They have a template. And anywhere you make it, it's going to be the same. 1920 by 480 pixels. Now the stream. The stream is where everything is located for your students. Reminders, announcements, whatever you post. You just click on the top, put in the message. And if you have anything for your message, like a, a link to something else you've posted, a video or a website, you can just add it there. And then if you would like this to post right now, click post. Otherwise, click on the arrow, and then you can choose to schedule it for a later publishing date, or you can just save it and come back to it another time. Next up, creating classwork. Just click on the classwork tab, and then click create. And there are four main categories to choose from. Any type of assignment, music theory, studying, repertoire, whatever it is, you just put it in here and students can attach recordings or attach documents. It's completely up to you. Over here you can do a quiz and if you select quiz, Google will create a template for you to fill out and you can even add a quick rubric so your students see how they'll be assessed. Questions are great if you just want to post one essay question or one multiple choice question. And then materials. If you add a material, it's like a collection of online resources or a PDF or something that you want students to reference at a later time. For this example, we're going to create a short answer question. Click on question and type the question here. In the instructions, you put anything else they need to know and you can add links to videos, links to materials that you've already posted or anything else they need to help them answer this question. Then in the top right hand corner, you just click ask and that will ask the students, send out an email alert and post to the stream. Now, how do you add students? Super simple, two ways, click the plus sign next to students. You can add them manually by email or use that Google Classroom and send out an announcement to your students that they are to add it themselves. And then you don't have to do any of the work. Number six is grading. And it is super simple because Google Classroom defaults to points. You can select the number of points of every single assignment you post, or you can wait by category. Just click on Add Grade Category, put the name like Test, put 60%, and then all of a sudden everything that you post as a test will be graded 60% and loaded into a spreadsheet for you. Now you're ready to start using Google Classroom. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other tips, please post them below.